afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra, my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing? Are we all doing all right? We are? Yes? We are? All right, good. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of you who sort of sent out sort of your commiserations to me in my last uh, video that I did. Um, I just returned from uh, a funeral in London and I was feeling low and reflective. All very selfish feelings um, considering it was uh, me who died and I'm not a direct family member but close family friend and you know, I felt it but I, I, I did feel that my feelings were a little bit selfish that I was feeling a little bit sorry for myself but you know but basically all I want to do is say thank you to all of those who sent your commiserations out in the last video I really appreciate that um, at the moment I'm just sort of like just checking in on the family the sister and the mother that have left just checked in on them um, yesterday and they're okay. They're, they're as well as they can be, considering. Anyway, it's moving on. So today I am doing my what's in my trash video. Now, for those of you who are regular viewers of my channel, you know I say I'm going to do this every month. I keep. I swear to God, I'm going to do this every every month. Most of the times I do it every two three months, but this time I'm only a little bit late. I'm what five six weeks. So I think if I said I'm going to do this what's in my trash every six weeks, I think I'd be more realistic. Um, admittedly, my trash bag was full after a month, which I was really surprised at. I, I was surprised that I had so much stuff in my trash after a month. But you will see it's a, it's a variety of products. So that's literally what I'm going to do. So this, when I say what's in my trash, this is another form of an empties video. So I'm just going to show you all the products that have been used up by myself and my daughter, because usually us two, what we've used up and just give you a little mini review about my thoughts of the product would I buy them again and that kind of thing you know so a little mini review of each product are we ready I would suggest if you want to take a little pause now go and grab yourself a drink because you know I can chat and my what's in my trash videos uh, let's just say they can go on a little bit I'm gonna try and keep this down to half an hour 40 minutes I'll basically, I want to finish at six o'clock. Time now is, I'm not going to do it. I, I know I'm not going to do it. I'm going to end up doing this video in two parts so I can see it because I want to go out at six o'clock to do my Pokemon hour. I know I'm so sad um, and it's already 5.26. So I'm going to do part one now and then I'll come back and do part two. I think that's fair rather than me just rushing and not getting it all done. Right, are we ready? Are we ready? So, uh, <clears throat> This is the bag that I keep all of my rubbish in and I tell my daughter over and over again like when you finish the product rather than just throw it into the recycling put it in this bag because I keep this bag in my study please remember to put it in that bag she does forget a lot um, and sometimes I have to retrieve things which I can see that are empty and I'm like mm -hmm, give me that um, so some things you may never see me review because they've ended up in the recycling and they've been they're dispose and they're gone but I'm going to start now so first of all is I'm going to do these so this is um, wild some of you might recognize this brand this is a brand of natural deodorants so this is the little containers they come in um, you get them um, delivery so you order them it's a subscription service for these natural deodorants they come in a a container like this it's a solid product you can see a little bit left of what's left like this and basically you install it I should have one here but I haven't Ugh, right. um, and you install it into an outer casing push it up and then you've got your deodorant so this is the the refill they come in various fragrances all natural there's no aluminium in there and they're good what I've noticed with um, natural deodorants and I think most people find this that it does take a while for them to become effective to to get used to them so you can either um, I think they say you can detoxify your skin so that's using clay and all sorts of things like that and it, um, to do it that way or you can sort of introduce these in between using your normal deodorants until you can fully start using these um, because I found that I found that I didn't find these very effective at the beginning but again I was advised beforehand that I might need to give it a good couple of months maybe before they become fully effective. 
and it did actually it didn't take me that long it took, well, it took me about a month maybe two months maybe it did take me that long to become effective my daughter found them effective immediately so that was all good um so you get a refill um i think it's roughly every two three months you get a refill you can get the refills in boxes of threes and that's how i do it um, i select the fragrance i want and they send it it costs about I'm trying to remember, I think it's about £14, £15, that's including delivery and it's sent to your door. Um, I got a case for my daughter which I can personalise, I put her name in it, my one's just a normal one, you can pick a colour and that sort of thing. I really like them, I really like them and these are what I use now so I don't use sprays or anything like that. I'm trying to do my little bit, just little bits I'm trying to do around the household, just trying to have my little positive impact because as I say every little bit helps so you know so these are what I use I like them and that's it and these these are the way we're going now when it comes to our deodorants now all fully recyclable so nothing nothing goes to waste so absolutely nothing goes to waste so that's my first item really like it I've got it on a subscription I do recommend it so this is called wild um, next is face masks so I've got a pack of these face masks I'm pretty certain I've probably got these from Ipsy um, so it's a pack of clarifying face masks which I've got in one of my probably an Ipsy glam bag plus at some point really like these I'm finding these I'm just finding these um, useful for both myself and my daughter so my daughter is, is a young adult now now she's 21 years old and she does have the occasional breakout so she'll have spots and things usually leading up to the time of the month maybe sometimes um, and I, I I don't have breakouts but my skin will just become more blemished and blotchy and just more congested it doesn't look great so I don't get spots but I will just my skin just doesn't look great it just looks clogged up and just just not good um, and this is great so I love a sheet mask for relaxation so I'll tend to do it maybe on a Sunday evening sit down wind down have a glass of wine uh, put a sheet mask on and so my so my daughter will use these and I'll use these for relaxation it came in a pack of six I found these really nice when you use them you do see the skin looks clearer and brighter really notice it on my daughter really notice it when my daughter uses it her skin just looks so much brighter so much clearer and her skin just looks much better all the little inflamed spots that might be on her face much calmer so they're not red anymore they're just a more duller color and she says she likes using these so i would say I, I say my daughter uses these more often than i do i mean i think i've only used one or two of these I think my daughter's used two of these so there's probably two left in the pack but we have enjoyed using these and if I see these again in an Ipsy Glam bag shop or a BoxyCharm sort of drop shop or whatever I will pick these up again definitely very much enjoyed these and again what I like about these kind of sheet masks loads and loads of serum in there so you can you can use them twice if you're careful and if you've got a little face like my daughter has you know definitely can use it twice you know just carefully put it in use it for your 20 minutes put it in keep it in the fridge and take it out again the next day so that she has done she did that once um because there's so much serum in these so you do get your value out of these you get you get your money's worth so I do like those um, right next here is a candle I bought <laughs> I um oh probably about two weeks ago two three weeks ago I went down to Eastbourne to meet up with a friend we had lunch hadn't, we hadn't caught up for a while and they got a great little TJ Maxx down in Eastbourne um I the one I've got in Brighton I, I don't like it it's just to me it's just a mess I hate the one in Brighton the one in Eastbourne just seemed to be more organised. So I picked up a couple of candles. They had these candles there. They were £7.99. Big old candles. This smelled really nice. It was teak wood, sand, sand and fog. And I thought, yeah, let me give these a go. So it was um, a double, double wick candle. And um, it smelled really nice. It, I must admit, it smelled... It's almost quite masculine, but it's nice. It's that kind of, well, teak and sandalwood. Very fragrant. It was a decent throw. Eight pounds. Um, you can tell the quality of the candle because of how well it, how long it lasts. Basically, I had this, I know I shouldn't say this, and if you're if any firefighters out there, please close your ears. I had this burning all night. I know. I put it on early evening, and I had it burning all night. And by the morning, it was all gone. I know. You should never fall asleep with a candle on 
I do quite often, and I try not to, but I do fall asleep with a candle. And that's usually why I put a candle on in the first place, because I want to relax. So, um, yeah. So this burnt out in one night. And when I spend a little bit more on a candle, so say, for example, um, I haven't got a candle here. But I, 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 there's a, there is another brand I use of candles, which I buy occasionally. There's two brands I buy, um, the UK based, the Black Owned. One's called Terra, and what's the other one called? I can't remember. Um, they are a lot more expensive, but those candles, they last ages. So I said this one, I burnt it all in one night. Say, for example, the Terra one, it'll take me three nights before it's all gone, three, four nights. I know this is a terrible example but I'm just telling you how long the candles last so when you see a candle cost a lot of money it's usually for a reason because it will last a long time so you get your values worth that's how I do I look at what are the burning hours um this one night and that was it so it's like 10 12 hours so but it smelled lovely and eight quid I was more than happy to give it a go and no when I go down to that TJ Maxx again I will definitely just go straight to the candle area and see what other candles are there because I bought two I've got another one upstairs which is burning at the moment um it's not burning at the moment but it's one I, I lit last night and I remember to blow it out before I fell asleep just saying <clears throat> Next is just a shower gel. In my What's In My Trash, My Empties videos, you will see a hell of a lot of shower gels. I'm just saying, you're going to see a lot. I'm just saying, you're going to see a lot. For some reason, I don't know why, we just seem to go through a hell of a lot of shower gels in my family. When I say we, I mean my daughter. I don't know what she does, because she's only a little thing. She's only like a size 8, size 10. Little thing. Um... And she just seems to just go through so much of this stuff. I really don't know. So this is just one I picked up randomly. Oh, this I picked up from Avon. I bought quite a few because I was running short on shower gels. And I thought, well, I don't want to buy sort of nasty cheap stuff that they've got in supermarkets. And I know Avon do some nice ones. And they're, again, decent prices. So I bought quite a few. I think I bought about six or seven sort of um, shower gels from Avon. Just did it all in a, a heap. And this is one of them. Smelt nice, nice as well everybody used it it was a general family one that kept in the, in the bathroom and it was all nice it was all good i mean the avon shower gels they're cheap you know they'll be like what well, three four pounds maybe they're not expensive so it's all good all right. okay hair products also in my empties videos or what's in my trash videos let me put my phone on silent. It's lots of little messages coming through. It's the Pokemon group. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. So, um, also what you'll get in my MTs videos, what's in my trash videos, you'll see me show you quite a few hair products. Again, they get heavily used. So I have been buying this. Um, this is from Flora and Curl, and it's the Jasmine Oasis Floral Hydration Hair Mist. Basically, it's a hair moisturizer and a detangler that you just spray in your hair. Perfect for people with type 3, type 4 hair, so it just hydrates and moisturizes your hair. It's a quick way of doing it. It helps just to give your hair some sheen, life, bounce, makes your hair look healthy and good. So, this is a product. Um, these cost about, I'm not sure, between 12 and 16 pounds in the UK to buy these. Um, I tend to buy quite a few of them from Ipsy. Men Ipsy or BoxyCharm have got them in their sales shops, which they tend to do every month. If I see these, I'll buy at least two or three of these, plus the detangling cream as well, because the prices they're selling them for are, I think it's about $9 they sell it for. And $9 are money is i'll tell you quickly <clears throat> so nine dollars is six pound ninety so i'm literally saving i'm 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 at least saving at least 50 percent at least um so I will buy quite a few of these because two or three of these will be the price of one if I bought it in the UK. And obviously I'm buying loads of other products as well. It's all included in my shipping for all my American beauty boxes. So for me, it's fantastic value. So when I see these in the drop shops or add-ons or whatever they call it, I will buy plenty of them. Great product. And this just tends to be the product I'm buying now all the time from, um, from the Ipsy or BoxyCharm. Great little products, all good. I wouldn't buy it here 
because again it costs 12 to 16 pounds I can't remember the exact price but you know, when I'm paying six pounds seven pounds for it of course I'm gonna buy it so yeah all good so that's that ah uh, yes we know what this is my favorite shower gel so this is a shower gel from the brand called beauty papier and it's called the golden superfood antioxidant shower gel now the first time i was introduced to this was from rockerbox last year springtime probably around this time of year it was in a rockerbox when rockerbox was 10 pounds and it was really good before they hiked the price up and became not so good um but it was £10 and to me it was the product in that box. I think there was like five or six products inside that box that month. And I think there's only two products in that box that I liked. But this is the product that saved the box. I love it. It costs about £25 if you're buying it here in the UK. Which is crazy money for a shower gel. But you can buy it. You'll see it on eBay. You'll see it in various places. Five, six pounds. Um... When Rocker Box occasionally has a mystery box, I will pick up a few and quite often I'll get one with this in it. I was also given some in a subscriber mail recently. I was given a bottle by Emma Francesca, who gave who sent me a, a subscriber mail box. So this is my favourite, favourite shower gel. This is my default shower gel. If I haven't got any of these, then I'll go to something else. But at the moment, I seem to be all right. I think I've got... Two more bottles of this left so i probably need to sort of look around and get some more of these but i love this it smells gorgeous it lasts ages it's just a warm hug it's just a warm sunny uplifting fragrance not citrusy when i say uplifting just a warm sunny it's just it's just like a warm hug it's beautiful but it's it's bright it's a bright fragrance it's just gorgeous i absolutely love it you get any idea I like the shower gel and it's a repeat purchase for me but I will not pay the £25 for it I'm looking to pay that five six seven pounds for it each time so anytime I see it anyway I'll, I'll pick it up and get it <clears throat> what is this okay so this is a product I got in um, one of my hair subscription boxes well it's the only hair subscription box I've got now called Odyssey Box I don't do the Odyssey Box unboxings on my channel anymore basically because when I've done them sort of I don't I don't really get much views and the time it takes for me to to film the video edit it upload it and then only to get sort of like maybe a hundred views it's not worth my time so I, I just don't bother to um, film the videos anymore um, it's it's also it's not something I'm getting in PR or anything it's something that I'm purchasing so I don't feel obligated to to unbox it it's not benefiting benefiting many people but it's Odyssey box is a subscription box that comes out every couple of months it costs 45 pounds so it sounds quite a lot but you do tend to get four full-size items in there the last couple of boxes I must admit um, well not the last one but the ones before they were sort of like maybe two full-size items and then sort of like travel size items and I felt oh they're cutting it fine here still making the value so probably you're saving about five six pounds but we're not looking for a five six pound saving we're looking for a lot more so I, I I'm not sure what's happening with Odyssey box um I'm keeping an eye on it I'm still subscribed to it because it's a good way for me to get my hair subscription products the last couple of boxes um I've been getting from them it's been products that she's been selling before um, and you could mix and choose which products you wanted so it hasn't been any new products it's just been products that I could mix and choose from before so yeah so this product was one of the last themed boxes that she did and this brand is called Trepadora this was like a high value brand really nice quality products very nice I personally wouldn't purchase them because they are expensive um, this was the avocado cocoa curl defining smoothie so it's a curl defining cream really nice product very gorgeous I mean my, my daughter used it and I could see when she used it because her curls looked beautiful defined shiny but not like greasy and lank just really her hair looked good so I knew because I, I mean when I looked at her and I said oh, what are you using in your hair she said, and she just and showed me and I was like okay you can see the difference 
nice quality product but it is expensive i think they're an american brand but their whole range of products really nice products really nice ingredients not harmful um to us um which is another big thing I'm, I'm, when it comes to hair products for black women i'm very concerned about the ingredients of the products because there's been a long history of some of the major brands like Procter and, and Gamble and what's it called Unilever making hair products that have had products put inside them that are harmful to women's reproductive system and what there's a whole lot of research has come through now where it's been found that um, a lot of black women have developed fibroids a much higher incidence of fibroids because of the long use of using products that have got these just products these ingredients in them so you know when you've been using products for like 20 30 years the accumulation inside your body has led to things like fibroids indications of cancer all that sort of thing and i kind of wonder with my family friend i probably shouldn't say this um because i know she used a lot of the sort of normal products that you find in the stores and her hair was relaxed so when i say relaxed it was straightened um, chemically straightened so she was using a lot of harmful products in her hair and i wonder you know she had um it was, it was a cancer in her uterus um that she died from and i you know i i've just got that suspicion i just you know i just got that suspicion that i wouldn't be surprised if long-term use of these products may have had an effect it's a suspicion it's in my opinion conspiracy i'm just saying it but i wouldn't be surprised and i just don't want to risk it so i'm very careful with the products i use in my hair now i tend not to buy those typical high street brands anymore i especially the american owned ones i look for the uk brands now because they're more conscientious with the with the ingredients inside the products so so yeah but this brand, Trepidora, very, very good quality brand, but very expensive. There you go. Right, so it's that. I said a whole load there, but hardly anything to do with the actual brand of the product. But it's just a, a message putting out there. Hey, listen, when I do a video, it's not, it's not just open show. You're getting a lesson <laughs> as well. Anyway, more hair products. So this is from one of those big brands. Um, this is from Sheer Moisture. So this is Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. So this Sheer Moisture is a brand, again, it was black owned, but then it sold out to the big corporations. I'm not sure which one it was, but they sold out. So the ingredients to some of the products are not so great anymore, particularly for black women. But some of the products they use are they've still got are still suitable and safe for black women to use and this is one of their lines so this is the manuka honey line and it's fine this and i think it's called the honey and milk one i think i might have a bottle or something in in my bag so it might you might see it a bit later but this one um the manuka honey brand is okay for black women to use the ingredients are okay safe enough so you're not going to get any long-term effects it's a beautiful hair mask really hydrating good conditioner you know when i when we use conditioners we're putting it in our hair and it will be in for a minimum an hour this is a really nice one i think i purchased this from look fantastic i wouldn't be surprised i probably did um, um usually using one of my 20 percent discounts when they offer it and any glossy credits i've got because i tend to do my shopping from look fantastic when i've got quite a few glossy credits and there's a 20 percent discount so i'm that i'm bumping up all putting all of my discounts together to get as much off as possible so i'm pretty certain i would have bought this at a time when i had quite a lot going on and i would have bought a few things but this is a great conditioning hair mask particularly if you've got type 3 type 4 hair sort of the afro type mixed race hair this is a good conditioner you'll love it when you use it oh so this is the other brand so um this is the manuka honey Sorry, what's that one again so this is the manuka honey and this is the Manuka Honey and, and Mafura. Okay, Manuka Honey and Yogurt and Manuka Honey and Mafura. So these are the two brands I, I understand are pretty good and safe for black women to use or black people to use in our hair. And it's not gonna cause sort of long-term issues with our reproductive system. 
you know what I'm saying so there you go so this is another so leave-in conditioning it's just like a, a milk you can see it's like a little bit there left in the bottom there there's a little bit left there I'm surprised she's given that to me still some there so yeah it's just a oh yeah there's plenty there right Right, I'll leave that on my desk. That's not quite ready for the rubbishes yet. But yeah, it's a nice product. Again, it's about that 10, 12 pound price. Um, and again, I would have purchased it. Looked fantastic using all of the discounts and glossy credits that I would have had. That's when I would have purchased it. <clears throat> What's this? This is, okay, so this, yeah, so this is, Okay, this is Dutch. So this is a shower gel. Yeah, it's a douche gel. This is a shower gel. Um, and if you look at the language, it lay in English. And I believe this is in a box of products that was sent to myself and my daughter from Dutch Monique. Um, she sent us a whole lot of products at Christmas. And there was, I, I don't know if this was a box sent to me or was a box sent to my daughter for her birthday. But definitely it was received from Monique. So shower gel and yeah all loved <laughs> it was all good my um my this is like an argan oil and honey yeah it's nice and it smells nice i remember smelling it it does smell nice as well put it like this when dutch monique sends a box of products over we know it's going to be good and i'll tell you what the eyeshadow i'm using today is actually one of the eyeshadow palettes that she sent over to me so this is one from i think this is a department store in the netherlands douglas and because I'm wearing green, I decided, oh, I'll, I'll use this one. So this is um, an eyeshadow palette that she sent to me. And the shades I'm using is this one as a base. And then I'm using this green and that green up there. So those are, are on my eyes at the moment. Nice formula, decent quality eyeshadow palette. So there you go. I do use my products, you know. I don't just get them and they sit, sit here looking pretty. I use my products. I do. Right. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, this is mascara. I was so sad when this finished. So this is, oh, with this mascara, I'm pretty certain this is one I purchased. Or I could have got it in one of my American beauty boxes. But um, I know QVC, when this mascara first launched, um, QVC tend to... QVC seem to have close links with Benefit. So when they launch a new mascara, QVC UK will sell their mascaras at a much discounted price. And they sell it probably like a week or two before they launch in the general stores. So the general stores, they'll sell these mascaras for about, say, £21. And then QVC will sell them for about 16 So I think I bought one or two of these. And this is... See, the Roller Lash, the Benefit Roller Lash was my favourite mascara. Now this is. I absolutely love this mascara. It just works so well for me. Because for me, I've got short, stubby lashes. So what I look for in a mascara is something that's going to lengthen. It's going to curl and it's going to volumise. And it's going to separate. I want, I want it all. And this mascara does it for me without smudging or looking a complete utter mess. Really, really, really like the mascara. So, um, yeah. When I get this, I'm always happy. So I think I got one in one of my boxes and I purchased one. So yeah, that's the one last one, I think. So it's all finished. Honestly, I use this to the last dregs. Loved it that much. What's this? Okay, this is a product I pretty certain I got in a rocker box. This is like after the price increase and it's from Monia Skin. It's a brand they we tend to get products from quite a bit. And this was an exfoliating enzyme product. So this is very, very similar in style to the um, Elemis enzyme, papaya enzyme cleanser that Elemis do. Very similar in style, but I didn't like it. <laughs> I just didn't like it so I did use it a couple of times it's like nah not liking this at all um I just don't like anything from one skin they just don't quite do it their prices are up there but they're not just quite hitting the spot as far as I'm concerned they they're yeah they're trying but to me they're just not hitting it right how am I doing for time Ooh. I've got a few minutes and then I'm gonna stop oh it's interesting how I put things inside the bag. So I was just saying about how this is copying the enzyme 
um, brand from Elemis and his, here, here is the Elemis one. This is the legit, the genuine, the original, the OG product. So this is called the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. Again, I've got very oily skin, so I shouldn't really be using enzyme peels that often. So once a week maximum, even once every couple of weeks kind of thing, once or twice a week maximum. But this is gentle enough, so when I use it, it feels good. And it's the kind of product you, you obviously you wet your skin, you put it on, so you massage it in, you leave it for a little bit, and then you rinse it off. And it does, it lifts the skin, it makes the skin look fresh, light, any dullness gets rid of, any roughness gets rid of. It's just a really good product. Again, a bit of a price because it's in a miss. This try to copy it, but it ain't doing it. If you want a, a copy, then yeah, fine, get this. But put the extra bit, you know, put the extra money in it and just buy the real thing and done. Basically, it's like an Aldi copying Elemis. That's what that's that's what this reminds me of. It's a bit of an insult, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay, so this is okay. We got this in one of the boxes. Was it glossy box? This is from Neo Bay, and it was a body milk we we got. So Neo Bay is a brand we do see in sort of glossy box or rocker box quite a bit. Um, they'll do micellar waters, um, body lotions, this sort of thing. This is a body milk, orange and vitamin C. I liked it. Quite happy using it. It was very moisturising. I used it every day because it went. It went quick enough I mean I've got a big body so it's yeah it's a lot to cover a lot of skin to cover but it was moisturizing my skin looked good it felt good the effect was lasting I liked it would I go out and buy it again no because I've got other products that I prefer to use but I liked it and I enjoyed it and if I received it again I would not be unhappy and I don't I can't remember how much the brand is but yeah it's not something I would literally go out and buy but I know of the brand I recommend it it's fine I would use it I just personally wouldn't purchase it Right, another hair product here. So this is something I got from um, Odyssey Box again. So it was an Odyssey Box where we could pick and choose the products um, that we wanted. And we did have a box from Odyssey Box, which was a themed box, which had the Nyla products in there. This brand is gorgeous. Again, this is a black owned UK brand. This is the woman who owns it is the one who, who um, got featured in Dragon's Den and then oh what's her name the one who was in she went in Strictly Come Dancing the Dragon Den boss who entered ended on um who went on Strictly Come Dancing is it called is it called Strictly Come Dancing anyway Strictly Come Dancing she was on there the, the biggest woman with the blonde hair really nice from up north really really nice is her name Karen can't remember but I really like her anyway so she she supported the brand owner to this and they've just been going they've just been going a storm really lovely woman you can see the woman who owns this just a genuine lovely woman actually all the brand owners of the black owned hair products in the UK they're all really lovely people really nice I don't know why why is it that the women who own the the hair products are really nice and the women who own the makeup products ain't so nice I don't know but yeah, she's a really, really lovely woman, very genuine. She'll do lots of little things on Instagram as well. So on um, so the Odyssey box, they did have a themed box last year, which was Nyla. I gave that box to my mother, um, even though I wanted to keep it, but I gave it to, to my mother. And then again, a few months later, Odyssey box had a box where we could mix, choose products from brands that have been featured before and I definitely chose I think two products from Nyla um, and this was the Super Seed hair oils. I love hair oils. I I tend to use what we call the lock system so well I do liquid CO so it's a liquid product so I'll use one of those hydrating mists or water but it'll be a water based that'll go on first on my hair then I'll go in with a conditioning cream so like a leave-in cream or something like that and then I'll use an oil so that's my LCO and that just keeps my hair hydrated soft and moisturized for as long as possible and just looks really really for me it looks good especially when I've got my hair in braids I know my scalp on my hair is being looked after well whilst my hair is in braids and this is a really really nice brand it's a light oil but it's nourishing lots of great ingredients in there loving this brand support the girl if you are into your hair products um especially the oils this is a brand definitely support them british black owned 
go for it. Look at me doing the whole black power thing, but you know what I mean. Right, on this note, I'm actually going to go because it's my Pokemon hour, so I will come back a bit later and do part two. See you soon. Bye. Whew, I'm back. Ah, it's a bit cold out there, but not as cold as, as it's been in previous evenings, but uh, yeah. Bracing is the way I will describe it. Okay, let's continue part two. All right, are we ready? Let's go. Okay, what we got here? So, what's this? Oh yes, this is just a sponge gel. You've seen sponge gels before, haven't you? Yeah. Um, so again, I did say there's going to be a lot of shower products in here. So sponge gels are like the original sponge where you'll have a shower gel in the center of it. So you basically you keep using these and the shower gel will come out. Um, they're, they're not cheap. I'm trying to think. I've seen these on sale on Amazon I think that's where I've seen them and they cost about 14 pounds over here um, I tend to get these in sort of drop shops and stuff like that in BoxyCharm mainly BoxyCharm and I think when I was still subscribed to FabFitFun I used to pick these up as well they cost about $10 I can't remember how much they cost but I really like them and I did used to buy quite a few of them but as I'm no longer subscribed to FabFitFun, I don't know if I'm going to see these anymore. I don't know if they'll appear in add-ons and um, in drop shops for Ipsy and BoxyCharm, but don't know. I've still got about three or four of these upstairs, but then once these are finished, that'll be my supply unless I see them, as I said, in add-ons and drop-ons, in drop shops. But I do like using these. They're just a really nice um, way of just washing. It's just a sponge with a shower gel in it. And they last a long time as well. So I do like them. Still got the fragrance as well. But yeah, I do like them. So yeah, you'll see me, you'll see this kind of thing appear from time to time. When I'm not using my, my Beauty Papier one, you might see that one appear from time to time. What's this? This, okay, so this is um, from Figs and Rouge and it's the Blowing Primer. So, got this in, I want to say, I've got this in a rocker box and I really, really like it. So, it was described as a blurring primer and I can't remember if this was something I got in one of the boxes. I don't know. I don't think so. I, I th I'm pretty certain I've got it in a rocker box. It's Blur and Primer. I like it. It's supposed to give it a natural finish, but for me, it, it gave yeah, it gave a natural finish rather than a mattifying finish. But it did help in keeping my my makeup in place for a, a long while. So I did like using it. And even though it wasn't a completely mattifying primer it was lightly hydrating as well so it was almost like a moisturizer as well and i know there's quite a few primers out there that say they're moisturized as well and most of those they don't work for me at all but this one i would say for me and my very oily skin i would say it's very much like a moisturizer and a primer but then saying that though i would still go in and use a moisturizer first then put this on top but it is a primer i did enjoy i happily use this every day whilst i had it um enjoyed it i really enjoyed it and this is something i think i would actually purchase i would actually go out and purchase if I know what Figs and Rouge are like, it probably costs all between 28 and 32 pounds because that's how much their products cost. But I did enjoy it. I didn't think I would because they've got a, a mattifying primer which I've used previously and I really enjoyed that one. But I liked this one as well. So this is the this is the one. I'm pretty certain it was a rocket box I received this in. I enjoyed it, liked it, liked it a lot. So it was a good one. Okay, what's this? So this is, I have a bit of soap here. So this is a cleansing bar. So it's from Dr. Botanicals. And we got this, ooh, either a glossy box or a rocker box. Not that long ago, actually, probably January. 
I want to say maybe December, January around that time. So it's just a bar of soap and um, it's a coconut fragrance and it's got little bits in it which are almost like a little bit exfoliating. Um, they say it's a cleansing bar that you can use to cleanse your face. I would never use a bar like this on my face but for my whole body no problems at all. I really enjoyed using it. It's a nice um, soap and again I use this as well as my shower gels and stuff. I've still got a little bit of it left upstairs. Um, so it's still in use, but there's not much left. So it's probably going to finish in the next week or so. It's just one of those things. I think, when do I use it? Yeah, it's just a really, I, I enjoyed it. It's a nice little, it's a nice bar of soap. So if you're not into shower gels, this is a nice bar of soap and it's not over drying on your skin it's it leaves your skin feeling nice and soft so yeah i enjoyed using it i'm pretty certain it was a glossy box we received it in but yeah it's a good product it's not expensive it's something i would use again probably wouldn't go out and buy because i do prefer using shower gels but it is a nice bar of soap and i do like it i feel like i have to apologize because there is so much shower gel products in this box or bath products so this is another a body wash this is one um i received from ipsy and ipsy have got um a sub brand called refreshments where they provide sort of basic products so like shower gels razors body lotions deodorants all that sort of thing i think they even do a candle now which i've got a candle coming so it should be arriving hopefully in the in this this week end of this week my my february is that right yeah my february american beta boxes should be arriving towards the end of this week so but yeah so this is one of the products it's a shower gel again just a shower gel i enjoy it it's affordable it's a nice fragrance does the job all good it's just a nice shower gel and i picked them up because it as i've as you've kind of picked up we go for a hell of a lot of shower gels in this house so i don't know why but we just do so yeah it's a nice one i like it and i do pick it up from time to time i usually have one or two in i usually have one or two in my ipsy each month at least one or two okay oh this is a product i've had for ages i haven't even finished it but in the end you know what i decided you know what let me just get rid of this now i've had this for ages so this is a rose water it's a hydrating face mist from a brand called madame Ore, i think it is so this i received in one of my black owned beauty boxes no i don't know which box it was i used to receive a box called black box but i don't think it came from that um, I really enjoyed the black box. It was so good. It was such a shame when she decided to end it. It was that was a box that um, originated from Denmark. And what it used to be, it used to be two skincare products, two hair care products, and two makeup products. Six products. It cost. It was about twenty something pounds. It cost coming from Denmark every month loved it it was such a good box but yeah she decided to stop after about a year um and she's just got a shop now and she's doing other things now but yeah i really enjoyed that box so i don't think it came from that it came from one of the other black owned box um i think it might have been from the it might be from the queen box maybe maybe queen box or it could have been from the discovery beauty box when i when, when i was receiving that box on pr I've had this a while. It's been a long, long, long time having it. And it's okay. It's just a hydrating facial mist. I tend to just use these. How I was using this is when I found out how to use hyaluronic acid properly or, you know, hyaluronic acid serum. I realised I need to moisturise my face first because it needs the moisture. So I'd spray my face with a product like this or another hydrating mist and then I'd put the hyaluronic acid serum on. But yeah, I've had this for so long and I've just like, you know what, and I've got so many other products which I'm using. I just thought, let me just put this in the bin. I've literally had this. It's got to be about two years. It's just been sitting there and I thought, oh, let me get rid of this. So it's all right. Nothing special. It's just a rose water hydrating mist. So... There you go. Definitely from one of those boxes. It was Discovery Box, Queen Beauty Box. I'm pretty certain it was in a Black Beauty, um, the, the Black Box, because they used to give really nice high quality products. And I don't think this belonged in that genre. So there you go. What you got here? So here we've got another sheet mask. So these are like... Um, 
again definitely got this in either I, I would say in a boxy charm I would say in an in a drop shop or a nipsy in one of their add-ons and I, I always pick up my sheet masks from those now so this is a it was a the brand is creme I'm, I'm thinking that it's boxy charm actually because this is the that's where I tend to see this brand creme um, and it's a it was a dual sheet mask claiming all sorts of things here rose all benefits soothing and calming hydrates and revitalizes tight skin all that kind of stuff I don't really know all that <coughs> All I know is that I really enjoy using a sheet mask on a Sunday or when I need to, need to just relax and it's fine. I've got a few of these upstairs. They come in packs of two. So yeah, this is one of the packs. And again, as I said, I'll, I'll always pick these up again from Ipsy or BoxyCharm when I see them. I do love a good sheet mask. And again, they've got loads of serum in them, so they're all good. Oh yes, this product, right. This product I think I got in a boxy charm. I want to say premium or um, it was either a premium or a luxe. I want to say it was a boxy charm premium. I wasn't sure about this and it was a choice product, but I did pick it because it had alpha arbutan drops. And I remember arbutan, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm just saying it as arbutan, arbutin, I don't know. Um, I remember that as a brand in, oh gosh, what's that skincare brand that is really inexpensive? Oh, The Ordinary. So I have received in The Ordinary in the past a product, something that you use in combination with other products, but Arbutan, and I think it's Arbutan and Zinc or something, but it's a combination of Arbutan, which is really, really good for people with very oily skin or people who have got hyperpigmentation or blemishes. So I know that ingredient is good for those type of skins. So when I saw this, I think that month that the options weren't that brilliant. So I thought, right, you know what, let me just pick this as my option. And I tell you what, I've enjoyed using it no problems at all, no adverse effects. It's one of those things I used to use at, when did I use this? I used this in the morning. Yeah, I used this in the morning. Or did I use this at night time? No, I think I use this at night time with my, with my skincare products. So what I tend to do at night time, because I know people have asked me, what do I use at night times? I haven't got a set range of products that I use. I have a, a set system of type of products that I use so at night time I will use my um, vitamin C products so if I've got vitamin C serum I'll use that any acid products I will tend to use them so things like this and I will use a nighttime moisturizer as well so nighttime is a time and I'll use the heavier products on my skin so there'll probably be at least two or three products I will use at nighttime so there will be a serum of some sort there'll be an acid of some sort and there'll be a moisturizer of some sort and in the daytime I will use um Sometimes I've used a light oil because I've had I have received some oils that are very light and they quickly absorb into my skin. So if I know I'm not going anywhere and I'm working from home, I will use a light oil. I'll also use a, a, a hydro, hydroluronic, hyaluronic acid serum of some sort. Um, an SPF, so product with an SPF in it, so that'll be a moisturiser probably with an SPF. The one I'm using at the moment, which I really like, is the Kiehl's one. Um, I've got lots, lots of little tubes of those, so something like that I'll use. If I'm going out, if I know I'm going out and doing visits, I will definitely put that because it's got SPF 40 in it. Or I will use a moisturiser like... Um, what am I using upstairs at the moment? I've got, an, I've got a couple of oil-free moisturizers I use. So it'll be an oil-free moisturizer in the morning, um, a light oil maybe, and a hyaluronic acid in the, in the, in the morning as well. But And if I'm going out, there'll be an SPF product in there as well. And the SPF will be above 30. So my morning routines and my nighttime routines are completely different. My nighttime routines will definitely be products that will combat oiliness, um, but they'll be hydrating, they'll combat hyperpigmentation and blemishes. And the night and the daytime will be light moisturizing and protection, SPF, all that sort of thing. So there you go. So this is the kind of product I would have used with my nighttime routines. Used it, no problems at all. My skin 
using this routine which I've got now as I said even because I haven't got set products or set products I'm using all the time but using that kind of routine at the moment my skin has looked the best it's looked in years in my opinion but I think my skin's been looking really healthy just alive glowing my skin looks well my face looks well so I'm happy with the routine I've got and because I've received so much skincare in my beauty products uh, in my beauty box subscriptions I get to try different things different brands all the time but I keep my products the same for for each thing so morning will be light products night um morning will be light products that are protection and nighttime there will be products that are going to combat whatever skin concern I'm looking at combating. Does that make sense? So yeah, this product I really enjoyed. No problems at all. Again, if it came up again as a skincare product or if it came in a drop shop, I would pick this up because I, I did like it. So it was all good. Right, I can bring the bag up now. So it's not so heavy. Okay, so this is a one of those skin essence toner things so this one was really high valued so you remember I I was sort of really moaned and I've mo really moaned and whinged about that brand which I've received in glossy box and in rocker box that vegan skin toner essence product which cost 34 pounds that is nothing compared to this this I can't remember I think it cost something like 60 70 dollars really expensive difference is when i used this product i felt it i could see the difference it was a product that you put on it was a toner but it felt refreshing i felt like it was putting stuff in my skin my skin felt nourished afterwards i felt the difference so this had a high value but i felt like it was nourishing my skin Compared to that vegan skin kind product which we've got which costs £34, that to me is just like a normal, it could be just, a, it could be just water. I don't feel, see or feel any difference when I use that product. Whereas with this, which cost a hell of a lot of money, um, I felt the difference. Um, I have no idea why skincare products cost so much money, but they do. So this brand is called Byro. It's B-Y-R-O. And I don't know what that last letter is supposed to be. Be. but so Byro maybe and is it um yeah Byro New York so you know it's expensive so it's um it was very pretty it looked really great on my dressing table and it was a very nice product to use I really did feel that nourishment when I used it and I, this is a product I was using morning and night so I'd use it in the morning to provide the moisture be be um, before putting on the hyaluronic serum and at night time I use it after cleansing my skin, tone my skin and then put all my other products on. My nighttime routine is about five, six steps because the double cleanse, then you've got the toner, then you've got the various serums and oils and products. It's about six steps my nighttime routine but it doesn't take long because I know what I'm doing. I've got everything there so I just bang, 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 put it on. But this was nice. It was nice to try it. Again, I I'm not in the price I don't I'm not in the income bracket to buy these products on a regular I'm not a Kardashian um, but it is really nice to try these products receive them have that bougie fancy feel just can't afford to buy them that's all but hey ho that's why I love getting the American Beauty boxes even though they seem to be pissing me off quite a bit in a moment because they're getting um basically because Ipsy's taken over BoxyCharm and they've changed in the products we're receiving we're getting way too much skincare and they don't seem to be following our beauty profile so well now but I can see they're working on it but it still isn't brilliant but I still I still get some really good products so I'm not willing to give it all up yet I I, I just can't because it's that fear of missing out, FOMO. I, I can't, I wouldn't be able to do it. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. Okay. Okay, this was, oh gosh, this is a mascara received from Ica. I can't remember where I received this and I hated it. I can still feel it's full. I used it a couple of times, absolutely hated it. Just, it was just blur it was just a mess on my lashes i really didn't like it at all so i stopped using it and threw it in my trash 
you know after a couple of uses usually with mascaras sometimes it takes a couple of sort of uses before you get to the brushes or the bristles are properly covered and you start to get the full effect of the mascara um, but this one I gave it a chance and it was horrible just didn't like it at all I think it was just the brush style it just didn't work for me at all didn't like it in the trash it went hated it take a note of it there you go didn't like this at all Um, right, this is a mascara. Gosh, I bought this mascara, I mean, years ago. I can't even tell you how long ago I bought this. I bought this a long time ago. Um, and I've never used it. I have never used it. I don't know if it's any good, but I know I'm probably not going to use it either because I think I've used this before um, and I didn't really enjoy it. But, yeah, I don't know. I put this in the trash because I don't actually know what to do with it. I don't know if it's still any good. It's unsealed. I haven't used it. I don't know, guys. I might just leave this out and wait and see what you guys say. Because I don't know if it's still good to be used. But, I, well, you can see it's all used. Should I just put it in my giveaway box? Because it hasn't been touched. I just, I bought it probably a good two years ago. Even maybe three years ago. I just haven't used it. So, I don't know. Should I put it in a giveaway box? Or should I just throw it? I'll let you guys let me know what to do with that. Because I don't know. Um, right, what's this? This is um, a sample product I received. Again, don't know where I received it, but it's from Irma Urban Veda and it's a reviving exfoliating polish. So it's another facial polish. I don't think I like this one because I, I feel like it's got quite a bit still in there. So the fact that it's still got quite a bit in there means that I didn't enjoy using it. Um, so it probably was a little bit too granular, a little bit too rough for more skin. Um, I'm very... I'm very funny about scrubs, um, body scrubs, I really really hate body scrubs so unless they're really really fine and really really gentle I just don't like them and I've got a feeling the fact that I've stopped using this means that it might have been a little bit too rough for my comfort so that's why it's gone in the trash. This is, okay, this is a sample. It's from a brand called Marcel and it's a purifying mask and it's just a clay mask. I can't remember where I got it from. The fact that it's a sample makes me think I might have got it in a birch box or I could have I could have got it in an Ipsy Glam bag because it's definitely a sample size. But if it's a clay mask, I would have enjoyed it. I did use it because it is empty, um, so it would have been fine. But I definitely used it. But I love clay masks. Again, very oily skin. My skin does get congested from time to time, so I, that's why I do so many sheet masks and and clay mask I'm very partial to clay mask so yeah I would have used it so it would have been fine if it's a clay mask it would have been fine but that's the brand yeah it, yeah going by the size it's got to be a glam bag or a nipsey or a birch box definitely yep another sheet mask here this is a hyaluronic acid one again it's a sheet mask you know I'm going to be all good with it so there you are that's that one and again Go and buy this. I would have got this from Ipsy. So it would have been an add-on. It definitely would have been an add-on because they tend to do sort of packs of fours and sixes. Um, and yeah, so that's definitely an add-on. I love a sheet mask. This is... Oh, where did I get this from? This is cake and it's a, a body cream. I loved the fragrance of this. Oh. I'm thinking this was either birch box or an Ipsy Glam bag, but I know I loved the fragrance of this. It was just a really nice, rich, moisturising. Yeah, I say it smelled like cake. I wouldn't say cake, but it smelled really nice. I I really like this. It was a good cream. Really, really like this. It's really left. I really liked it. Okay, this is from Bloom and Blossom. Um, I'm really liking this brand. I'm really liking this brand. Um, because we just recently got in, was it in the Rocker Box or was it in the Glossy Box? We got a multitasking balm, hand balm, which I'm enjoying using. It's good. I'm using it on my hands and my feet, that one. Really, really good. But this one was just a little hand cream. So I'm assuming it came in a birch box because it's so small, it's tiny, um, but it's good. 
I just like this brand. They, every product I've received from this brand so far has been good quality. It does what it says on the tin. I just think that this for a hand cream sample was so small. This is like two or three uses and it was done. I think we could have got a much bigger amount. So I'm assuming it was Birch Box, but it might have been another box, but it was small. But I did like it. As I said, anything from this brand, I'm enjoying. I'm giving that brand a bit of a thumbs up. What we got here? Oh, we got another candle. So this is the other brand. So I mentioned earlier about brands of candles that I buy from the UK. Um, you can see the details of these brands on Instagram. So one brand is called Terra, T-E-R-R-E -R -R -E, candles. Um, and they do supply to the UK now. I think they were from France originally, but and beautiful smelling fragrances. And this one, Lange candles. So they come with a little gold, jar like a jam jar sort of thing and you've got the little string and these candles they burn beautifully they're soy based candles they last a while and they smell beautiful so i bought quite a few of these they, were, they had a sale on so i bought a few i think this is the last one i've got of those and this one smelled gorgeous and it had little sort of blossoms and stuff in there and you can see how you can see it burns properly all the way even see the difference nice and even all the way down beautiful beautiful candle yeah, it smells really nice. Yeah, I need to get some more of these candles. They're good. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but they're worth it when you think about how long they last. So, yeah, I'll, I'll have a look and see if they've got any offers on. Because I'm that kind of person. I never buy things that are on full price. When things are on offer, that's when I go and buy it. Oh, right, here we go. This is the night moisturiser I've been using. So I've been trying to use this brand as much as possible in my skincare at the moment. So this brand is called Grown Alchemist. They're a bit on the pricey side. I'm no denying they are a bit on the pricey side. So I, when I see this brand in BoxyCharm, because usually BoxyCharm, I do buy the product. So they've got a matte balancing moisturizer, which I really like. Um, and this is their night cream. I bought two of these and I've just enjoyed using this. This with all the other products like that that Arbutan thing I used earlier. This is the moisturising stage. I've been using this for the last few months. This has been my product. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, I need to, I finished this last night actually, so this has just gone into the bag. So I need to get another moisturiser. So I've got to think if I need to go on to another brand now. And I think I will. I think I'm going to go on to my Glow Recipe products now. Because I've been doing the Grown Alchemist for quite a while. i still got the Grown Alchemist hand cream to use. Um, but and I'm using their lip mask at the moment but I think yeah I'm moisturizer I'm gonna start introducing my glow recipe products now so that's what I'm going to be using next but I've loved this but it's not cheap not cheap at all I'll give you an idea of how much this costs okay right so I've just had to look for this this is 40 mils and this is sold in the UK um, I've seen two sites for this so ooh, okay yeah so this Detox Night Cream is sold at Look Fantastic for £86. £86, guys. Um, and I would have got this from BoxyCharm in a bundle. The bundle would have probably cost... I tend not to spend... My bundles don't tend to cost more than $25. I don't go above that when it comes to my, my bundles. So the bundle would have had body creams, lip, the lip mask. It would have had a few things in it. Um, but one product... This product alone is, what did I say it was? Yeah, 86 pounds for this. And I probably would have paid five pounds, probably, if that, for it. But it's been fantastic. It's been a beautiful night moisturizer. I've really enjoyed using it. Um, and this is why I can't stop my my American Beauty boxes. I know I get them a month late, which is really annoying because I do my unboxings late. Um, so I'm not in time for everybody else. And I know it's unfair that I'm talking about products that not everybody can get access to here in the UK. But I do share some of the products. I put them in my giveaways and stuff. So, you know, you get a chance to show them. If you decide that you do want to sort of sign up for it, find, sign up for Box of Charm or Ipsy, I have got my referral links to both sites and the, and the company I use to do my shipping, which is Shipper2. But there are many companies out there that do it. But be aware, shipping costs have gone up a lot because of the whole pandemic and everything that's going on right now. Prices for everything has gone up 
crazy so be aware of that so you think about how I do things I, I ship all of my stuff over in one go so I do a big consignment shipping over so that reduces my shipping costs um, so my shipping costs are about 50 60 pounds but I'm bringing over a few hundred pounds worth of products over so for me it's worth it it's, it's definitely worth it and then you know some products I sell on eBay and even if I sell the products at half the UK price I'm still making a profit so you know um, and the products I get are good quality compared to the products I'm getting in my UK subscription boxes because this product 86 quid I'd rather use this than a product from Avant which we get in our UK boxes because Avant isn't a brand that anybody knows no one knows Avant <laughs> It's just a made-up brand for beauty subscription boxes, whereas this is a proper brand that you can see in other retail outlets. So, I know. I'm talking about products that's not available for everybody, so sorry about that. But I, 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 I just wish the UK boxes would do better, that's all. Anyway, right, here I have got a foiled pressed pigment eyeshadow. I did use it for a while. If I remember correctly, this was a, a green or maybe a purple. I don't even want to open it because sometimes these things can, they smash and they become a mess. So I'll be careful how I open this. No, I'm scared to open it. I just got a feeling it's going to make a mess. But it was a nice product, but I tend not to use my single shadows. I like my palettes. It's just easier. So I did use it. I think it was either green or it was a purple. The colour was really nice, but I'm not using it. I'm not reaching for it because, as I said, I go for palettes. So in the trash it goes. What colour was it? Can I tell? Ivy. Yeah, so it was a deep green colour. Yeah, it was a nice colour, but... Um, I think I mentioned this before this is a nail polish I received I think I received this in a oh what's that box is it toil box it was in a toil box time of your life box um, emery nails oh this was awful absolutely flipping awful this nail varnish it couldn't go on properly at all it was really streaky it was lumpy it was horrible so I gave up on it I've never thrown nail varnishes away um, but yeah this was awful so trash it goes um, this is a face powder I finished it was from pure pure cosmetics lovely good state of that lovely oh, there's still a little bit left in there actually oh, there's still quite a bit in there I wonder if I can get some of that out but yeah lovely face powder I really enjoyed it I wonder if I can get some of this out there's still quite a bit in there why am I throwing this in the bin probably because I couldn't get it out with my brush but yeah really nice face powder yeah, it, it, the dispensing mechanism was a bit weird because it's like that and I can't, I think this is why I've thrown it away because I couldn't pull all this off to get the rest of it out. So what you could do is do that and then, but just, I was only getting a little bit out and I need more. I'm going to try again with this because it was a really nice face powder oopsie tasty i really like it so i'm gonna have another good go at this to see if i can separate it and then use it properly because that was a nice face powder and i've got this free because i remember i bought i think i bought a foundation and um from pure and then they sent this free it was an, an additional gift so and it was just a really nice product so it's good this is another candle. Here we go. This is the brand I was talking about. Terre Candle. Right, so we've got Lange Candles and Terre Candles. These two brands, love them to bits. Beautiful quality. Look at that. Um, what I'm probably going to do is scrape out this and then I'll use this to hold my brushes. That's what I do with them. Because that's what I did with one already got my lip products in there so I'm going to do the same with this one I'm just going to scrape this all out and I will use this but oh gorgeous this was the um oh the grenadier grenadier noir love the smell of this beautiful beautiful mm, yeah so I'll be scraping that out and I'll be using that the holder this is a nail varnish I've had for a really really long time and it's just yeah it's just old it's an old Liz Earl nail varnish in a, in a sort of a bluey colour um, I was looking because I was looking for blue nail varnishes for the funeral last Friday um, and this was in there and I thought oh god look at the state of that so yeah threw that away 
my, my other nail varnish isn't like that. They just kind of separate, but once you shake them up, they're okay. But this one's a complete mess. So in the trash it goes. Right, we're nearly there. Oh, I'm throwing away a foundation here. It's because I'm not using it. It's been opened already. The colour's not quite right. Um, because I've realised now my colour in the foundation. I bought this foundation when the colour that I wanted wasn't available. So I've had this for a long time. So it's Maybelline Fit Me. And this was in shade 355. Um, was it Cappuccino we called it? No, it was Coconut. Yeah. Um, but later on they came out with shade 362 which I think is Truffle. Which is my shade. Have I got it here? Uh, yeah, I have. Right, I've got it here. So this is 362, you can see the difference. So that's my shade. And that was this was the deepest colour they had before. So, yeah. So it's, take, it's taken the companies a long while to get their act together and to get deep shade foundations, but they got there eventually. So, so I threw that away because I don't need it. And it was just sitting in my collection. It's like, why is it there? This was a hand cream, hand mousse cream. This I got from Dutch Monique again, so in one of her little boxes. Really nice moisturiser. It was a mousse version, very moisturising. And I'm not just saying that because it's from Dutch Monique. It was actually a really nice, rich moisturising um, hand cream. And it was in a mousse, so that was all cool. That's the brand. Very nice. Glam Glow, this is one of their masks, isn't it? So this is one of the clay masks from Glam Glow. I, I just love all the Glam Glow masks. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I do. So when I receive them, I'm always quite pleased. I like the Glam Glow products. Um, they're only little tubes like that, and they cost about 15, 16 pounds, I think, or more. Um, get them from Look Fantastic, Feel Unique, quite a few places, um, Cult Beauty. Quite a few places sell them. I really like them. I just like all of their little products. So when I see them on offer, of course, I get them. So good little product. Right, this is the mascara that was the predecessor to the magnetic. So with benefit, I the Varial mascara I thought was all right. It was good. I wore it. Then they came out with the Roller Lash, and I loved that mascara. So the Roller Lash and the Tarte Lashes Light Camera mascara they were my, my two favorites for a long while and then benefit came out this bad gal bang and i was like okay this is just a whole new level love this mascara i bought three or four of these absolutely love them and again i bought them from qvc because they were selling them cheaper than everywhere else and then benefit came out with the metallic one the variable metallic one so and that now has become my number one mascara from benefit but this is a good mascara you know when it came out yeah Loving it, it was a good mascara. But yeah, I won't buy this now because I'll just buy the metallic one now <laughs> instead. And I would go out and buy those mascaras. Um, it's another Glam Glow Super Mask. So you can see I do use these. Clay Mask. I'm all about the clay mask, guys. So yeah, all good. Use that. All good. Um, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Some more makeup products here. So we have got... This was... I bought this... Oh... Why am I throwing this away? Oh, it's finished, that's why. So when I bought that Catrice foundation, so the Catrice foundation was the one that Tati sort of came back with when she came back. She recommended this foundation, which was really affordable. Here is it. It's here. It's here somewhere. Um, what's this one? The Catrice True Colour. So I had to buy it in two colours. Yeah. So... So Tati came back and recommended this foundation, really affordable foundation, it was about £7. I bought it in these two colours here, um, mixed them together and they're perfect colour for me. And whilst I was on the site, I bought some other products as well. So I bought this brow pencil, which was fine, very affordable. Um, it looks like I haven't used it, but I have, it's just finished. You don't get much in it, unfortunately. So I finished it and that was it. So it was a dark brown brow pencil. All gone, finished. 
there you go and then this is an eyeliner this is from i'm assuming this is seattle london it was a flick fierce or fierce flicks eyeliner again use this all dry it's all finished see i don't mind liquid eyeliners i seem to use them okay i don't have any problems with them so this one was all right see seattle london is another brand again i I get on with good quality drugstore products. I'm all right with the Seattle London products. I've actually got a eyeshadow palette from them on sale at the moment on my on eBay under Sussex Sandra. It's the I Am Woman eyeshadow palette. So if you're interested, have a look on eBay. I think I've got it on for ten or fifteen pounds, something like that. I've got it on auction, so I've probably started at ten and it'll go up from there. This is. Um, Benefit again, so Benefit do products for me. Brow products from Benefit. I like their goof proof. I like their goof proof brow pencil, and I like them precisely my brow. So I get these in shade five because the next shade six is just too dark for me. It doesn't look right because my skin's older. It's not quite the same. It doesn't work. So I get shade five, and that's what I use in their brow products. And I just love the Benefit brow products. They know what they're doing. So this is the precisely my brow. So again, it's all finished. But you get the pencil there, and you've got the spoolie as usual at the other end. But yeah, these are products I frequently purchase when I've run out of brow products if I haven't got them in the box of charm or ipsy. But I try to make sure I've always got a brow product on no on order coming. So I know I've got one coming in this lot coming. Is that sheet mask again, which I mentioned earlier? So that's all good. This is a product that's really old. So remember I mentioned about a beauty box subscription I used to get from um, Denmark and it was called the Black Box and she used to do two skincare, two hair care, two makeup products. So in this particular box she had this facial oil from our brand I can't pronounce. It's called Isangs and it's just an, an oil cleanser. So I double cleanse at night time. So I use an oil cleanser like this, so an oil, lift my makeup off and then I'll go with a facial wash or gel cleanser, something like that. Not a cream, not a cream cleanser, but it'll be a gel, or a, um, a gel, or a just a yeah, a gel or a foam face wash sort of thing. So this was a really good face oil. Not oil oils are the, are equal. This was a good one. I like this one. I've had some oils that aren't that great. Um, this brand is not that accessible. You can get it, but you have to do a little bit of digging around in the UK to get hold of it. But I think if you're in Europe, you can get hold of this much easier. Mainland Europe. So, Isangs, really nice brand. Black owned again. All good. Ah, oh, this is what I did with it. <laughs> So recently we got, was it in the rocker box? We got a Radiance facial oil. Yeah, you know I said that I felt I gave it away. Well, obviously I didn't. I put it in my trash. Too oily for me. So that's what I did with it. So the one I got in my rocker box this time, I've put in my giveaway box. But yeah, it's too, too oily for me. That's what I did with it. You can see I did try to use it. And I think the roller mechanism is a bit, a bit weird. I mean, it smells really nice. I could just use it on my hands, really, couldn't I? Yeah, I could just use it on my hands. <laughs> Let me leave it here and I can use it on my hands rather than throwing it away completely and wasting it. Because it smells nice and, you know, it'll moisturise my hands. But it was just too much for my face. Yeah, and the, the scent is gorgeous. So, yeah, I use it on my hands. This is from The Ordinary and this is a salic, um, salicylic acid. So I went through a phase when I was doing a lot of my The Ordinary skincare products. So this was leftovers of the salicylic face mask. It's all right, um, it's okay. It's supposed to be salicylic acid. It's supposed to be really good for people with oily skins, blemished skins. Yeah, it's fine. So it's like a black face mask again. It's fine, no problems at all. But it's not something I'll go out and buy um, because I receive so much products in my beauty box subscriptions but for example if i wasn't receiving um, my beauty box subscriptions this would be the product i would go and buy as my face mask clay mask so yeah nearly finished this is a mascara i received i think an ipsy possibly an ipsy i think um and it's from tarte really liked it it was a nice little mascara didn't last long though wasn't much in there um, I think this came in a January Ipsy 
bag, glam bag, and I would have received it in February. So I did use it, use it consistently. Yeah, didn't last long, but it was a nice mascara. Tarte do good mascaras. Just like Benefit, they do good mascaras. So that was all good. Um, what's this? This was, oh, this has been knocking about for a long time. I, I couldn't tell you where I got this from. Um, it's a hydroactive smart nutrient day cream so i've had this around for a really long time and then i decided you know what let me start using it so especially working at home and i do go out during the day i go out for an hour at least every day just to just to walk so when i say i walk i play pokemon and walk so i've been using this as the face cream i go out especially if i know i'm going out so because i'm looking for face products skincare that's protective so this is probably the first one i started to use and yeah it's fine it's all good i think it's got spf in it i can't remember but it, it, it did a whole load of things so this was fine it was no problem so if you recognize this brand this is a nice face moisturizer for all skin types i would say as well so all good yep um and last product and this is from loxitan so we received in a few boxes we've been receiving the little loxitan almond oil um cream i love this you can see how much i loved it there's nothing left in it I received a couple of these gorgeous they smell so nice i do this is the only range of products i like it with within loxitan it's the almond milk range of products they smell gorgeous the shower oil and this these two products together mm, gorgeous but loxitana are just a very strange brand i think they've become an ML, mlm now a multi multi-level marketing firm so all very weird now i'm not sure what they're doing but this range of products within the brand gorgeous and that my loves <laughs> is all of my empties what's in my trash for the last six weeks i know that's six weeks worth of trash no one can say that i don't use my products no one can say that so what you're thinking i think i've given a kind of mini review of most of the products most of the products i've enjoyed some products not so great but there you go Leave your comments down below. I love to hear what you guys think. I always love to hear what you guys think. I do read all the comments. Um, if it's a comment that I heart, that usually means that it's probably up for consideration with a for a favourite comment of the month. Because don't forget, I do a giveaway each month and I give it to my most favourite comment of the month. So if I heart your comment, then it's definitely going to be up for consideration. And then I'll sort of narrow it down to sort of like seven, seven people. Um... And then if I just like your product, if I like a comment, I'll just give it a like. So don't forget, I do have those giveaways going. I also have my beauty bundle box, which I will be selling. So that's coming up towards the end of the month. Um, but yeah, leave your comments down below. Let me know about the products that I showed you. Any comments, any feedback? Do you have a differing opinion to what I said about the products? Do you want some more information about some of the products that I mentioned? Because if you do, I'll try and respond and give you that information. But there you go. I will try, I'll say this, I will try and do another What's In My Trash empties video again in about six weeks. So we're probably looking at, what, the end of April, possibly? End of April, beginning of May, around that time? That's when the next one will be. Um, I think my next video will probably be a deguster box, I think, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I'll be having my American Beauty boxes. They'll be arriving. When I do my American Beauty boxes, what I'm thinking of doing, I'm probably going to do live ones of the... I'll probably do a live of the Boxy Charm, and I think I'll do a recording of the Ipsy products. But we'll see how it goes, yeah? But I'm expecting those towards the end of this week, maybe the beginning of next week. But I will post up on my community and on my YouTube channel and on Instagram to say that I'll be doing a live. If I do a live, it will be in the evening. It will probably be about seven, between seven and eight o'clock UK time. All right. That's it, guys. Take care. Have a lovely evening or a lovely day, depending on what time you're watching this. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.